Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Welcome to the channel. So today in this video we are going to cover some questions with their brief explanations. So here we have a first question is the normal value of bleeding time range from and the options are option A 60 minutes, option B 15 to 30 minutes, option C 1 to 5 minutes, option D 5 to 10 minutes. So the normal value of bleeding time range is the correct answer is 1 to 5 minutes. The normal value of bleeding time range from is 1 to 5 minutes. So let's discuss with the help of explanation that the time from the beginning of incision until the termination of bleeding is considered as the bleeding time. And a standard filter paper should be used every th uh, should be used at every 30 seconds to draw off it until the blood completely stops so the normal bleeding time will use in the range of 1 to 5 minutes so the correct answer is 1 to 5 minutes moving on the next question which method do not increase solubility options are hi option a hydrotrophy option b increase in particle size option c complexation option d co-solvency so which method do not increase solubility so the correct answer is increase in particle size do not increase solubility let's discuss with the help of explanation students that the method of increase the solubility are the temperature polarity, hydrotrophy, co-solvent or stirring increase the speed of dissolving which increase the solubility. So this is all about this question. Moving on the next question. One of the following actions of opioid analgesic is mediated via kappa receptors. Options are option A is physical dependence. Option B is euphoria. Option C is spinal analgesia option d is both a and c so which of the following action of opioid analgesic is mediated via kappa receptor so the correct answer is both a and c means physical dependence and spinal analgesia are the actions of opioid analgesic is which is mediated by kappa receptors so let's discuss with the help of detail here we have this table that they, for the mu receptors the analgesia that is a supraspinal mu1 and spinal mu2 or sedation euphoria meiosis physical dependence and reduced gi mortality where for kappa receptor analgesia that is supraspina or spinal sedation meiosis physical dependence and for delta receptor analgesia supraspinal mu1 and spinal mu2 which reinforce the action and reduce gi mortality which of and affective behavior so this is all about the receptors mu kappa and delta so this is all about this question moving on the next question which of the following hormones is a steroid options are option a is estrogen option b is glucagon option c is insulin option d is oxytocin so which of the following hormone is steroid so the correct answer is that estrogen is the following hormone which is a steroid let's discuss it with the help of it in detail that steroid hormone is produced by three endocrine organs first one is testis produces testosterone ovaries produces estrogen 
and the adrenal cortex produces steroid hormones such as cortisol or aldosterone. Steroids hormone are derived from the cholesterol and are lipid soluble molecules. So estrogen is a steroid which is uh, produced by ovaries. So next question is internally coded inheritable information carried by all living organism is known as options are option A is genotype, option B is phenotype, option C is metabotype, option D is pharmacogenomics. So internally coded inheritable information carried by all organism is known as and the correct answer is genotype. Internally coded inheritable information carried by all living organism is known as genotype. So let's discuss in detail that genotype is internally coded inheritable information carried by all living organism and the various phenotype is the composite of an organism observable characteristics or traits such as its morphology development or biochemical or physiological properties phenology behavior and products of behavior such as bird nest where the metabolic variability criteria can be used separately or in assertion to provide reliable pictures on different metabolic phenotypes of a biological system such as pictures characterizing the metabolic phenotypes are called metabotypes or chemotypes so this is all about the genotype phenotype or metabolic variability so students try to memorize these terms with their specific characteristics or with their definition so it will be more helpful to attempt the questions moving on the next question bubble point pressure is test is related to option a is laminar flow option b is autoclavin option c is radiation sterilization option d is membrane filter so bubble point pressure test is related to and the options are option we are having laminar autoclaving radiation and membrane so the correct answer is membrane filter so bubble point pressure test is related to membrane filter let's discuss with the help of explanation that the membrane filter is made up of cellulose and its derivative and its size is 0 0.2 to 0 0.45 micron and forces combined or force of gravity and wonderful forces the students try to note down these uh, these important information about membrane filter because sometimes the question may also ask the what is the material or what is the size so this is all about this uh, the membrane filter and the efficacy can be determined in terms of bubble point which is the characteristics of porosity so this is all about this question next question is which among the following is a method of permanent contraception and the options are option a tubectomy option b is hydrectomy option c is tracheotomy option d is none of the above so which of the following is a method of permanent contraception and the options we are having tubectomy, hysterectomy, tracheotectomy, none of the above. So the correct answer is tubectomy. Tubectomy is a method of permanent contraception. Let's discuss with the help of uh, explanation each term that what is hysterectomy. That it is a operation to remove a woman's uterus, removing a woman's uterus and a woman may have a hysterectomy for different reasons including the uterine fibroids that cause pain bleeding or other problems and uterine prolapse which is a sliding of the uterus from its normal position into the vaginal canal and where tracheotomy or trache uh, tracheostomy are it is a surgical procedure which consists of making an 
making an incision or cut on the anterior aspect of the neck and opening opening a direct airway through an incision in the trachea as its name uh, indicate that it is denotes from uh, what that related to the trachea tracheotomy or tracheostomy so next is the resulting stoma hole can serve independently as an airway or as a site of tracheal tube or tracheostomy tube to be inserted this tube allows a person to breathe without the use of no nose and mouth so next term is tubal ligation or tubectomy which is the correct answer so it is a surgical procedure for sterilization in which women's fallopian tubes are clamped or blocked and sealed either of which prevents egg from reaching the uterus for implantation so which helps in contrast uh, so these are all about these question uh, correct answer is tubectomy so next question is find the missing number here we have a, a schematic diagram as it shows the question mark as it shows the question mark so we have to find out the missing number option a is 24 option b is 19 option c is 22 option d is 20 so which is the correct answer and which uh, what is the missing number the missing number is 22 so let's discuss with the help of explanation that 8 into 3 minus 3 is equal to 24 minus 3 is 21 and 6 into 5 minus 5 is equal to 30 minus 5 30 minus 5 is equal to 25 where 12 into 2 minus 2 is equal to 24 minus 2 is equal to 22 so the correct answer is 22 next question is name the most common type of cancer that kills men in the world option a is lung cancer option b is prostate cancer option c is liver cancer option d is colon and rectum cancer so which is that common type of cancer that kills men in the world so the correct answer is lung cancer is the most common type of cancer that kills men in the world let's discuss with the help of explanation that lung cancer is the most common type of cancer that kills men in the world so correct answer is lung cancer next question is the value of a stretching frequency of a bone can be calculated by option a is hook's law option b is stroke's law option c is lambert's beer's law option d is none so the value of stretching frequency of a bone can be calculated by Hooke's law so let's discuss about Hooke's law that Hooke's law is IR which is having a stretching frequency for measuring of a stretching frequency and where Stroke's law is used in sedimentation process to determine diameter and uh, what about Lambert's Beer's law it is used in UV spectroscopy for transmittance and concentration respectively so this is all about this question moving on the next question a prokinetic drug is and the options are option a is ondansetron option b is dicyclomine option c is metclopramide option d is chlorpromazine so which is the prokinetic drug so the correct answer is metclopramide is a prokinetic drug let's discuss in detail that ondansetron is a 5st year 5st3 antagonist having antiemetic effect and where dicyclomine is anticholinergic and metclopramide is a prokinetic drug and chlorpromazine is a neuroleptic drug so the correct answer is metclopramide is the prokinetic drug so this is all about this question moving on the next question on which date the 2019 world book and copyright day wbcd is observed recently and the options are option a is april 21 option b is 
April 22, option C is 24, option D is April 23. So on which date the 2019 World Book and Copyright Day is observed? So the correct answer or correct date is April 23, the world, the two, uh, in 2019, the World Book and Copyright Day is observed. Here we have an explanation on this. The World Book and Copyright Day is observed on April, 2000, April uh, 23 to recognize the scope of books which are seen as a link between the past and futures, a bridge between cultures and generation. So the correct answer is April 23. Next question is schedule for the patent filling. Filing. Option A is U. Option B is Schedule V. Option C is W, option D is F. So which is the schedule for patent filing? So the correct answer is schedule V, V for the patent filing, V for victory and V for patent filing. Let's discuss with the help of explanation that schedule U is particular to shown in manufacturing raw material analytical data and record of drug and cosmetics there and V is student for patent filing W is for list of drug whose import manufacture sale labeling are governed by special provision and F is for standard for surgical dressing and sterilized tapes so this is all about the scheduled explanation so the correct answer is schedule V is a for patent filing. Now the next question is the long acting sulfonamide is and the option is option A is sulfacetamide, option B is sulfadiazine, option C is sulfamethoxazole, option D is sulfadoxin. So which is the long acting sulfonamide? So the correct answer is sulfadoxin is the long acting sulfonamide. So uh, let's uh, discuss with the help of explanation here we have uh, this the complete explanation of the sulfonamide that uh, for uh, short acting are sulfadiazine, sulfacetine, uh, sulfamethazole or sulfitoxazole where intermediate acting is sulfamethoxazole and sulfamoxazole and long acting is sulfadoxin and sulfamethopyrazine and where orally known absorbable agents are sulfasalazine and olsalazine and the sulfonamides which is used as a topical agents are silver sulfadiazine, sulfacetamide or mephinide so this is the classification of sulfonamide students you have to learn this classification if the question may ask from may arise from these uh, uh, subclass so you can attempt easily so moving on the next and last question of this video which indian personality has been conferred the uae highest civilian honor that is z medal and the options are option a is sania mirza option b is sharukh khan option c is narendra modi option d is Shashi Tharoor. So which Indian personality has conferred the UAE highest civilian honor that is Zaid medal and the correct answer is the Narendra Modi, the Namo has uh, Indian is the only Indian personality has been conferred the UAE's is highest civilian honor that is Zaid medal. So let's discuss with the help of uh, explanation that the UAE present Sheikh Khalifa bin Zed Al Nahyan it's the name of UAE present students just uh, memorize this conferred the prestigious Zaid medal to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi for giving a big boost to bilateral strategic ties between the two countries and the award comes in appreciation of PM Modi's role in consolidating the long standing friendship and joint strategic cooperation between the two countries. So the Zaid medal is the highest decoration awarded to kings, presidents and heads of these states. So students, the correct answer is Narendra Modi. So this is all about this video. Thanks for watching.